Hey everybody, thanks again for joining us. Uh, I'm Dave's Acrylic Pouring. I'm Dave. And we're going to do probably, I think, one of my last uh, <clears throat> paintings for my advanced series. Uh, I have a couple other ideas, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do those or not. I think I'm going to end the advanced series. And that way I can get back to doing some of the paintings that I love to do. And not interrupt my different series. So, anyway, today is going to be a Dutch wreck. And we're going to do some embellishments on it and see what we can come up with. So I've got uh, Artist Love uh, white paint as my base. Let me bring you down here so we can see what we got going on. Alright, and I've already got that on. <clears throat> got some Master's Touch colors that I'm going to be using for um, my colors in here. So let's get started all right i'm gonna do kind of a middle kind of theme here so make sure you get off the edges okay I like to do different designs when I'm doing these across painting. I, I feel like it gives it a little more depth. I mean, I could be wrong, but I, that's what I feel. some green some teal you said sure why not we'll keep with the same green theme to the pink. Real thin, real light. Dark blue. And the light blue. it off with this this kind of a crimson
that around and start on the other side. And I'm going to try to hit right on the edge of where I can see where I was blowing from the first part. I'm going to hit just on this side of it and go past it. Now remember, when you haven't done this for a, a while, um, take yourself a break or two in between because you will get lightheaded from the constant breathing in and blowing the uh, colors. Alright, so we got that all mixed up. Now I'm going to grab my torch and we're going to pop some of these bubbles here. Now I've got a lot of these... Uh, real tight knit um, areas that I have blown out instead of using like a hair dryer to get the, uh, the big burst effect when it co with a color when it comes out I wanted to keep these a little bit tighter which is why I decided to use the uh, straw on this reason being is because we are going to wreck it in the middle <clears throat> so with some of these like when you have a lot of color over here on this end, let me turn this around so you can see. Get a little closer. <clears throat> when you got a lot of color right here, what we're going to do, we're going to start in the middle and pull that out. Okay? And when you don't uh, have enough color here, we can do the same thing in that area as well. pull that right through okay um, you can also do the exact opposite and pull the white in get a little bit deeper of a effect of separating those out really get some interesting effects when you do this. <clears throat> Remember to clean your whatever utensil that you're using. Clean it off quite often. to break up these uh, different areas and these different patterns that you will see in here and really accentuate each part of it as best as we can. gives it kind of a marbled look.
Now I'm doing quite a bit of uh, work on this, and you don't. Ha if this is not your, uh, if this doesn't tickle your fancy here, you might, you know, try doing a little less, doing different things with it. But <clears throat> I'm doing this in order to kind of give you an idea, try to show you some of the things that can be done with this. got a couple spots that where the other paint has actually splattered when I was blowing it out. So I'm touching the white and touching the tip back over that paint to cover it in those areas that I don't want those splatters. So don't be afraid if you get those if you get those splatters you can fix them. That way you have a, a nice crisp negative space for your background. And as you can see right there, sometimes I miss, so I have to go back over. Sometimes it doesn't cover in the first dip, so you have to kind of play it by sight and just look at it and, and watch how it reacts with the, uh, the way you're dipping and cover it up. It's like a magic eraser. Now, I am going to give this a slight spin to try to stretch it out just a little bit, but uh, I'm not trying to go overboard with this spinning. So. As you can see it did stretch it out quite a bit. So need to look, need to work it a little bit more that way in that corner. Just a touch might be just enough. What I was trying to do was to try to spin it out to get that white paint back over here on this corner, but it looks like we are good to go. One last torching. Get a few more bubbles on here. All 
All right, let's come in and check her out up close. So, let's try to get this. I've been working on uh, trying to get this part right here as quiet as I can. This uh, tripod is a little noisy. But as you can see, colors work well together uh, definitely you can see the, the uh, swirls and the rings <clears throat> and I think because I was trying to get the uh, paint the white paint to stretch a little bit more than what it was before um, I think I actually stretched it more than what I wanted to, um, which it still turned out pretty good, but I, I, I wanted to have a little bit of a, a thinner uh, centerpiece is the word I'm looking for. So, but um, it still works, it still works good, and um, I'm probably going to do a little bit more to it later on. Uh, I'm thinking that after it dries, what I will end up doing is on the the little wisps that come out I'm actually going to outline every little bit of that in uh, black um, and make it really really pop make it really stand out so uh, it's obviously it's not dry right now so I can't do that but uh, yeah I think it'll look really good make it really just pop right out there and show those colors off against that white negative background so Thanks for joining. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this. I hope uh, you guys get out there and try this on your own. Um, thanks for watching all of my series. Um, I'm glad you guys have been a part of this with me. And um, I hope to have you here around for all my future videos. So um, we can't make these paintings unless we pour on. We have to keep pouring. So thanks for everything. And uh, I hope you guys come back and see me again. All right. Have a good day.